there! Welcome back to East Coast Training Zone. My name is Carla and I'll be guiding you through the third video of this uh, series of three. And this time it's going to be a workout for your core. The two previous ones were upper body and lower body. So for this workout, you need your TRX, you need a water bottle, a towel and of course a mat because a lot of uh, the work will be done on the floor. Now, if you didn't subscribe to this channel yet, it's time to do so. And uh, please like this video if you enjoyed uh, working with me. And then let me remind you, if you want to see more workouts, if you want to build a weekly workout routine, then check out my on-demand platform where you will find loads of videos for different levels. And then let's get started. We're going to start with mid-length some warm-up exercises uh, before we dive into the core workout. And the first one is the overhead squat. So place your hands in the foot cradles, the back of your hands that is. Foot stance is level two, so feet hip distance apart. Have your arms overhead, straight, push your shoulders back and then let's squat by pushing the hips down and back and drive up through your heels for 10 repetitions. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one. Straight into the next one, slide your straps down and face away from your anchor for the rollout. So for the rollout, also feet hip distance apart, handles in front of your chest. We're going up into a plank, rolling out and then coming back. So definitely uh, stretching you and uh, warming up your core. Let's go. One, just be careful not to overextend. Two, always careful with the shoulders. Three, and if you have some shoulder issues, this might not be the best uh, warm-up exercise for you. Uh, I think it's better to stay below shoulder level uh, with every exercise you do on the TRX if you have some problems in your shoulders. I think this is six. Seven, squeeze your glutes and tighten your abs all the time. Eight, nine, last one, and ten, that was. Back up to uh, mid-length for the standing hip drop. For the standing hip drop, you also need a single handle mode. There's two ways you can do this. If you have a TRX with a loop, you could just go for one handle, it's stable, or you could create a single handle mode. In this way, right goes through the left triangle and then without twisting it, push it through again a second time and then pull to fix and then you should be ready to start. Okay, so we're facing our TRX anchor sideways with the right shoulder, handle on top of your head, then offset foot stance, so my inner leg is in front, I place the handle on my head and I push my shoulders back. Now inclining a little bit, not too much, and then you are going to drop your hip away from the anchor and then back. So. Uh, Working side abs, obliques here. Three, four, keep pushing the shoulders back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And last one. And turn around. Let's do the other side in the same way. Inner leg in front, handle on your head, shoulders back, and go. Drop that hip away. 
from the anchor two three four five six seven eight nine and last one in this hip drop and then for your last one you can undo the knot we don't need it anymore and we'll be doing an overhead back stretch so for the overhead back stretch face your anchor lengthen your arms palms down and then get onto your heels and then let's take it down in a back stretch and then all the way up onto your toes and then straight back into the back stretch onto your toes no pushing with your hips that's why we do it slow use your core strength instead four keep your arms straight five and up six and up seven eight nine and the last one and up and back down and that was your warm-up first round first round only standing work and for the first one we need that single handle mode again we're gonna do a power pull so a power pull is a combination of a uh, rotation a rotational movement and a pull so your core is working hard especially when you do that rotational movement so face your anchor have your right elbow underneath your right shoulder feet hip distance apart at least and then lengthen the other arm keep the shoulder down and now we're gonna open up and rotate and then from here we pull with power reaching for that yellow tag with the left arm are you ready let's go one always keep your core contracted two three four five six seven eight nine and last one on this side so just move a little bit to the right now and then let's do the same on the other side shoulder down and go rolling out and pull back with power two three four more to go in this power pull six seven strong core eight nine and last one let's keep this set up for the next one it's a high torso rotation and uh, we will also work one side first and then the other one so have your handle in front of your chest elbows underneath your shoulders lengthen your arm and then find your inclination so um, we're gonna go up with the arms as we rotate so let's try to the right and slowly back to base are you ready for 10 on that right side let's go one no momentum in this exercise do it slow and controlled three 
four, high torso rotation, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, other side, immediately up and back, two, three, four, keep your core under control, five, six, very strong in your core, you should be here seven, so squeeze your glutes, eight, nine, and last one, and back. You can undo the knot now, and then uh, let's lengthen the straps to uh, mid-calf. Mid-calf is fine for the walking plank. So face away from your anchor, and uh, we're gonna place our forearms into the foot cradles. Make sure you're right in front of your anchor of your TRX. And then uh, to, uh, to start, first of all, have a 90 degree angle in your elbows and um, elbows in line with your shoulders. Then go onto your toes, plank up, squeeze your glutes, tighten your abs and start walking back on the balls of your feet. Small, small steps in order not to lose your plank. And then just go as far as you can, as far as you feel comfortable with. And then we keep it there. Even pressure and one, two. We hold it for 10, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten and we come out in the same way with small steps small steps only and back a little break here before we go into the second one are you ready back onto your balls of your feet planking up stepping back slowly not losing your plank and then staying where you feel comfortable one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And let's come out slowly. And you can take your arms out of the foot cradles. And then the next one is kneeling. So let's prepare the floor. Everything after this exercise is being done on the floor anyways. So let's prepare the floor and we start on our knees with a combination exercise. It's um, a kneeling rollout in combination with a chest press on your knees. No need to change the strap length. Now find uh, your inclination and again make sure you're right in front of your uh, TRX anchor. And then the first thing you do is your rollout. You come back and then you do your chest press and you come back. 10 sets we do. Are you ready? Let's go. One and press. Two and press. Three and chest press. Keep your body controlled, keep your core controlled better. So squeeze your glutes and tighten your abs all the time. Five and press. Six and chest press. Seven and press. Eight and 
down two more sets we want this was nine and this is your last one And done with this uh, combination exercise. But as I said, we're staying on the floor. Uh, we're going into planks. Hold those uh, foot cradles as if they were stinky socks. Lay down and drop them over your toes. I'm going onto my left side because we're starting with a side plank. So onto my left hip first. First of all, my knees are slightly flexed. My feet are leveled. I have my upper leg in front, my upper foot in front. My elbow is right underneath my shoulder and uh, I'm ready to give myself a push up with this free hand into my side plank. Let's do this. Move up, have your feet touch and then bring your hand either to your hip or up and hold it. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's take a little break. Our next one is also a side plank, but we're gonna split the legs ten times. So we start from the same plank. Are you ready for this? Push up, hand to hip, and go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one. And then go to your front. We're gonna do um, a 20 second elbow plank here before we go to the other side. So you start on your front. Check your feet, are they still leveled? If not, do it and have your feet flexed. Toes are pointing towards the floor. When you are in your plank, pull your toes towards you. And remember, when you do a plank, you should be engaging your core before you go up into your plank. Deal? Okay, let's do this. Elbows right underneath your shoulders. Push your shoulders back. Now, start engaging your core. Flex your feet first and then squeeze your glutes, tighten your abs and lift into this plank 20 seconds we want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten, and back down, straight onto the other side. We're gonna repeat what we did on the left side. We're doing it on the right side now. So just to remind you, feet leveled, upper leg in front, you're on your hip. Just make sure hips are stacked, shoulders are stacked when you're in your plank. Are you ready? Let's go up, straighten out, feet touch, and then hand goes up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Relax. Five, four, three, two. One, back to the split now. Let's get into plank first, hand to hip this time, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Engage your core, nine, and ten. And let's go back to the front to do a back stretch. So walk back on your knees. And get yourself down into a stretch for about 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. 
Your next plank is uh, a plank on hands. And for this one, first of all, so you're on hands and knees, as you can see, spread your fingers and uh, turn your hands out a little bit, like a corkscrew, not too much. Make sure your shoulders are right above your wrists. Feet are flexed again, leveled feet. Pushing the shoulders back, engaging the core, and then lift into your plank. 10 seconds. Straighten out. Toes to nose. One, two, three, four, five. Engage. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And back down. Our next one is a pike. It's a pike on four arms. So you can stay on your knees, but you're gonna go down with your elbows, with your forearms, forming a cup with your hands. And then you're gonna place your head in that cup, on, on your mat, on your towel, from more or less from the hairline onwards. I'll show you. So like this. Now from here, I'm going into a plank, first of all, straightening out. I'm planked and then I'm gonna push my hips up and then go back into plank. We're not coming onto our knees. This was just to show you how to do the exercise. So what I want you to do is go up and down five repetitions, nice and slow, but always come back to a full plank. Don't stay too high up with your butt, okay? Let's put the hands down, make that cup. Place your head from the hairline onwards in the cup on the mat. Relax your shoulders, engage your core into plank. Now up and down. One. Always reaching up with your butt. Two. Returning to plank. Three. Four, reaching for the dead point one last time, and five, and back to plank, and back down to the floor. Well done. <laughs> I love it. It's one of my favorites. Um, in a more advanced video, you will, uh, or work out better, you will see me do this uh, on hands. Um, it's a little bit harder, a little bit more challenging, but... The next one will be on hands. So we're gonna do some mountain climbers next and I want you to try to do them on your hands. If it's too much for your wrists, of course you can do them in a lower plank uh, as well. Okay, so what do we need? That strong plank again. Let's get into plank. And then mountain climbers, one knee in, hip slightly up, other knee in and so on. So we're gonna do uh, 10 of these, alternating. Plank up and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and back down. Maybe you want to do a stretch again. And then your last one is uh, similar. Crunches, so both knees in, hips go slightly up. Now, if your wrists are tired by now, you can do it on your forearms uh, or you can stick to the high plank, which I will use. So back into my high plank, spreading my fingers, turning my hands out a bit. Shoulders right above my wrists, feet flexed, and then I'm ready when I engage. And then both knees in, hips up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, and down. And you can take your feet out this time. Bring your big toes together now. 
and spread your knees and have a nice child pose stretch for about 15 to 20 seconds. Just relax. Tough work that was in plank. I'm sure you did well. It makes you strong, really strong, these exercises. And uh, you will only get better with time, with practice, of course. Okay, we're not done yet on the mat, but I suggest you take a sip of water. The next exercises on the floor, uh, focus on your abdominals. We're gonna move the mat up a little bit and the towel as well because your head will be under your anchor. So make yourself comfortable on your back, head under your anchor, as I said, and then we'll be starting with uh, straight legs up. We call it single leg lowering. And uh, for this, you can have your handles together, as you can see, above your chest. Both legs straight up, relax your shoulders, keep your feet flexed, and then let's uh, press or push the lower back into the mat and start lowering the leg on the right. And back. Alternating, we do it uh, 10 times. Two. Three. Four. Five. Relax your shoulders. No need to pull your TRX down. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten, and then you can bring your legs into tabletop, place your hands in the foot cradles, and then you can bring your knees together, knees to chest. Now, lift your upper back, shoulders and head, and keep looking up as you straighten out your legs close to the floor, and then back. 10 repetitions. This one is called abs tuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Back to tabletop, relax your upper body. And then we're staying here with our knees joined to do side to side. So we're working the, the side ups with this to the right, but keep looking up slowly. And then to the left. So you're moving the lower body, not so much the upper body. Keep looking up, keep your tabletop corrected if you have to. So look at your legs every now and then. Are you still in that 90 degree angle? Five. Six, and have even pressure in those foot cradles with your hands. You don't want uh, any sawing on the TRX. Nine, last one, and 10. Okay, the next one. We're staying in tabletop. You can slightly uh, separate your knees or you can have them together. Press your lower back into the mat and uh, restore your tabletop if needed. We're going down with both heels. Drive it from your hips. Don't straighten out your legs. Keep your 90 degree angle in your knees and then just keep moving those heels towards the floor. Try to push your lower back into the mat all the time. If it is lifting, if it is hurting, then you should uh, not do this exercise. Then do singles instead uh, and don't go as deep. Five. Six. Seven. Keep that tabletop active. Nine. Sorry, eight. <laughs> there goes my counting again. This is definitely nine. Last one, and 10. Stay where you are with your hands, and then uh, legs go up again, straight, 
as we had them for the first one, the leg lowering. This time we're scissoring the legs, so it's different from the leg lowering because we keep moving the legs uh, in, a, in a scissoring way, let's say. Relax your shoulders, keep your feet flexed and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And finally, you can bring your feet to the floor again. Have a little rest. What you can do here to stretch is widen your arms, one to each side, and then bring your knees to the right and look uh, to the opposite side and just stretch in this way for about uh, 10 to 15 seconds on each side before we continue with the next exercises. Okay, let's uh, switch. stretch this is after those abdominal exercises we just did okay and then back up let's turn around again you can put your heels in the foot cradles this time heels in if you need them bigger do it now so when you put your heels in, try to push them in quite deep and uh, keep your feet flexed. If you point your feet, you will definitely lose the foot cradles. Make sure your TRX is in a neutral way, so don't push it inwards and uh, have your arms overhead. I didn't tell you yet what we will be doing. It's a sit-up, a sit-up with your arms overhead. So let me show you. Engage your core, come up reach for the ceiling and then as you go down do it slowly don't uh, throw yourself on the floor are you ready for 10 let's go one and slowly down two and slowly down three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, and back down. Come up, we're going into a V-sit for the next one, so I'm gonna shift myself a little bit more back. Straight arms, straight legs, and a V-sit. We're gonna do accordion, which is this one. Knees to chest, and then straightening out again. Are you ready? 10 repetitions, keep your shoulders low as well. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then you can lift your feet out. Just turn around. Uh, we're sitting, yes, we're doing a V-sit again, but in this direction. So not with your feet in the straps, but with your hands in the straps. So just uh, move a little bit more forward. Make sure you have space behind you to do that V-sit position. So lower your back, your upper body, and then lift and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That was the first one, the easiest one. The next one is... Uh, with moving legs, so back into V-sit, moving the legs up and down. This is your last one, so let's make that last effort. Are you ready? Get back into your V-sit. 
Let's lift and now open, close. Two, three, four. Try to keep your legs straight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And down. And definitely the last one. What I suggest now is that you go into a child pose stretch to stretch your lower back. So how do we do that? Bring your big toes together, widen your knees and sit back in a child pose stretch. Relax your lower back for at least 15 seconds. Maybe your heartbeat went, went up as well. Uh, TRX is not just strength training, it's definitely also cardio oriented. You will see that if you wear a sports watch, how often your heartbeat will have gone up during this training. Okay, we're gonna do a few more stretches uh, standing. So get rid of the mat. Straps back up to mid-length. And then the first one I want you to do is the lower back stretch. So have your elbows underneath your shoulders. Lengthen your arms, have your palms down, flex your knees slightly, and then just curl your back. I really like this one, especially after a training like this, a core training. Just relax. Five, four, three, two and one now turn out your left hip straighten the left leg look underneath your left arm and stretch your side and back other side one more on the left and last one on the right and then let's finish with the wide stance hip hinge. So wider, definitely wider, feet straight, handles in front of your hips, and then just hinge. This is your last one. Enjoy this stretch. Push your shoulders down. Five, four, three, two, and one. And then the only thing that I have to do is congratulate you on this uh, core workout. If you want to do more core workouts like this one, there are loads of those um, on my website, on YouTube even. I've done a core challenge two uh, years in a row now. Um, January 21, January 22. It's a whole month of core work. Uh, three times a week. So if this was not enough for you, there's a lot more to find on my channel. Thank you very much for being here, for working with me and uh, hope to see you very, very soon.